Using 3D modeling software as graphics intensive as Revit is not for every laptop. Your laptop has to be compatible with Revit and should not give you slow and sluggish performance. In this video, we've listed down the top 3 best laptops for Revit and their key features, plus the things to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, lumu.com. Number 3. ASUS TUF FX505DT Just like the Acer Nitro, the ASUS TUF here is a high-performance laptop for both working architects and students. You can handle the same complex and larger models as the Acer Nitro, such as those you encounter in Revit MEP and when using Navis Works. So why did I post this model? It's a great option if the Acer Nitro 5 runs out of stock or suddenly decides to up the price past 800 bucks. What about more powerful GPUs than the 1650? The 1060, 1650, 1660 Ti, AMD RX 580, aka mid-range GPUs, are the limit to what Revit can use and they also give you the best performance to money ratio. That is, going for the more powerful GPUs, like the 2060 RTX, 1070 GTX and 1080 GTX equivalent and higher-end GPUs will not give you that much improvement even if you try to use them for bigger and more complex models. Number 2. Acer Aspire 5 Look, the processor is there. It's fast and recent? Check. RAM? 8GB? Check. Storage? SSD? Check. The GPU is the main problem with this laptop and the reason why it's a lot cheaper. Some architects or 3D designers, especially those getting back into the business, may not be able to afford a $700 to $800 laptop just yet. Students too. But if your models are relatively simple, let's say simple houses and apartment complexes with files less than 50 megabytes, or relying on SketchUp and AutoCAD more than Revit, or if you're using Revit without relying on viewport too much, then you may be okay with this $450 laptop. Number 1. Acer Nitro 5 My top recommendation for students would have been something like the Acer Aspire 5 with an MX150, but this year's version is way too expensive for the entry-level GPU and the 8th generation CPU that it has. However, there is an Acer Aspire 5 with the MX350, which is a bit cheaper, but just as good as the Acer Aspire 5 with the MX150. This model has a 1650 GTX, which is several times more powerful than the MX150 and 250, with a 9th generation Core i5 CPU, and on top of that, it's either 50 bucks cheaper or just $80 more expensive than the Acer Aspire 5. It's just a deal that nobody should miss. This is something that even professionals and architects can safely buy too. It will not feel sluggish, even with projects in the hundreds of megabytes with many Revit links. The RAM size, however, is only 8GB. Perfectly fine for all students and most architects, but some architects may actually need to upgrade to 16GB. This is easy with this model too. You can simply buy the second memory stick if you ever really need to design something really huge. Did this video help you find what you were looking for? If so, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Have a good day!